Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me from Antares Fixed Income is Tano Pelosi. Tano, welcome back to FNN. Thank you for having me. Now, you're one of the managers at Antares Fixed Income. What kind of products do you cover? Well, Antares covers the whole gamut of Australian dollar fixed income, and the whole spectrum. Everything from uh, cash to uh, credit to longer dated uh, securities such as inflation linked bonds. We also um, customise uh, tailored solutions for certain clients. And more recently, we've uh, launched a, a retail product, the Income Fund. Fantastic. And what is the appetite for fixed interest products in today's low interest rate environment? We continue to see strong interest in fixed interest, excuse the puns, but uh, essentially investors are still seeking diversified investments, regular um, solid income, and uh, supported by good credit quality and uh, liquidity. And that's, that's what's been offered, uh, particularly with the entire income fund. And Tano, how much have key benchmark rates moved over the last quarter? Well, over the quarter, we saw about a 70 basis point move in the 10-year bond rate, uh, following similar moves in the European markets and to a lesser extent in the US market. The uh, yield curve itself saw quite a significant steepening, uh, particularly as uh, term premium was restored to the market and there was some, uh, I guess, uh, more in- pronounced concerns about inflation. So hence more inflation term premium being built into the curves. So yield curves steepened up over the quarter. So what do you believe the yield curve is telling us about the next six to 12 months? Well, the, the yield curve has uh, been basically telling us that um, the trajectory of rate rises from the Fed will be slow and gradual. Uh, there is some debate about where the terminal cash rate will rest. Uh, the other thing is it's, um, you know, I think that we're seeing that the curve is suggesting that the inflation risk is not a particularly prevalent risk at this point, hence the curve uh, could be much steeper. Antano, has this had any impact on the composition of your portfolios? Essentially, we uh, haven't tried to be too reactive to the recent movements. Um, the other thing to, to bear in mind is that uh, a lot of the supply risk that's coming through via the government issuance is, um, is, is also promoting a steeper yield curve over time. So we're very mindful of that. Um, there are value points along the curve, which uh, sees us uh, take exposure in the longer part of uh, bond curves. But generally speaking, the overall composition of the portfolios hasn't shifted that much. And finally, Tano, what are the implications for fixed income fund managers if rates don't increase later this year? If uh, rates were not to increase this year, if the Fed was not to engage in liftoff, uh, that would have certain implications. Uh, firstly, it would imply that something more sinister was happening in terms of the global economy, potential deflation risks playing out again. Uh, it would raise some serious questions over the trajectory of uh, at least the US inflation and their growth. Uh, so if we were looking at a scenario where rates would be rising in 2016 rather than 15, it would suggest that the global growth outlook was looking a lot more uh, negative than what was initially been uh, sort of priced in. Tano Pelosi, thank you for the update from Antares Fixed Income. It's a pleasure.